you know what my home is worth? How do you determine what you should actually sell your home for if you're considering selling? Then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Jen Feitz. I'm a broker associate with Berkshire Hathaway and I have been selling real estate for over 19 years. I've done over 500 transactions, so I know exactly what to think about when pricing or making an offer on a home. Here are just a few things to consider. Size, condition, location, marketing, and negotiating. All of these things have a huge effect on the price. Think about it. You can't compare a home that is 2,000 square feet to a home that's 4,000 square feet. That would be like comparing a Maserati to a Kia. They just don't match up. They are not comparable. You need to make sure that you are comparing the size just like an appraiser would. In most cases, there's enough inventory and the appraiser will go anywhere from 150 to 200 square feet difference, both higher and lower, to determine the price of a home. If there isn't enough inventory, they will actually have to make adjustments in their evaluation of what the home is worth based on the difference in size. Now, let's think about the condition again. Think about this in relation to your car. You can't compare a beat up old hoopty to a brand new shiny car, right? Well, a home is exactly the same. When pricing, you have to look at things like upgrades, cosmetics, systems. How is your home comparing to others? To learn much more about your home and how important marketing is, watch the video on marketing your home. Remember, when pricing, it's natural to feel like your home is worth more than anyone else's because we have an emotional attachment to it. It's just normal, but you've got to look at all the variables because underpricing your home will cause you to lose money and so will overpricing your home. As always, I love to serve you. I love where I live and I want you to love where you live too. So reach out to me so I can help you.